James Nelson. Present. James Bundy. Present. And Ted Van Oss. Here. And next item is the approval of the agenda. You'll have it in front of you. I'd like to make a motion to accept the agenda as stated before us. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. And we have the minutes from the December 9th meeting. Everybody's had a chance to review them. We'll entertain a motion for approval. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes from the December meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passed. And we have the bills and vouchers. 13329 through 13339 in your packet. Any questions? Hearing none, we'll entertain a motion to accept. Approve. Motion to approve the bills and vouchers 13329 through 13339. Nelson seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Bills and vouchers are approved. And the statements of revenue and expenditures are for review only. They're in your packet. Are there any questions on those? Hearing none, we'll move on. We have the Treasurer's Report from December 2014. And we'll entertain a motion to approve the Treasurer's Report. I make a motion that the treasurer's report for December 2014 uh, be accepted. Second by Nelson. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Next item on the agenda is the manager's report. Lorenda and John. Actually, Jim, do you want to give an update on uh, the contract? Uh, yeah, be a very okay. brief update because yeah. we're still working on the contract. At this point, it is with the uh, township attorney for final review. Uh, I think the major the major items in the contract, I, I think uh, we're going to have agreement on. Uh, and uh, it's been turned, as I say, it's been turned over to the attorney for his final review to see if there's anything that we've missed, and uh, once we get that back, we'll uh, meet with United Water and hopefully get this done. Okay. That's what, and uh, Tom, Tom's got it now. Uh, Lorinda, went, uh, do we have a, a date that he's supposed to get back to us? Well, I was hoping for something for tonight's meeting, but he ha I haven't received anything as of yet. Okay. So. I would I I would expect something. I'm I'm meeting with uh, Tom on some other things next week, and mm -hmm. I I would expect something by next week. Yeah. So uh, certainly by our next meeting, we should uh, be, have a a better update on this. Yes. Can I make a brief comment? Certainly. I thought this was on. It is. is. Okay. It is. Uh, I would like to uh, publicly thank uh, Jim Budney and Lorinda for all of their uh, expertise work, uh, looking through the old contract, looking through the new contract. Uh, I don't mean to act stupid here, but they, they really know their stuff. And uh, whatever we have done, me minimally, uh, it's really been an excellent experience, and I'm really happy that uh, I was involved and they did a great job. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Anything else from the manager's report, Lorinda? No, that's it for tonight. Okay. Short and sweet. Next item is a discussion item, agenda format, and... Understand, Jim. That's in. Well, I, 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 I put it on, and I just wanted to. Uh, a, a couple of people have uh, have uh, come up to me and asked me about it, and uh, so I said, uh, "Well, what the heck? Uh, uh, I'll I'll put it out there to see what the what our commission thinks of it." Uh, the, their suggestions uh, were that uh, we. Uh, Kind of just change it around uh, and, and possibly have the action items first and uh, uh, the, uh, even the public comment 
up near the top because quite truthfully if we have any public here uh, Bill normally does take that and put it pushes it to the front for them to have their say and then go if they want to uh, so I just wanted to throw it out to the Commission to uh, actually at this time with that in mind just take a look at it and and maybe have it on the next meetings uh, uh, agenda for for further discussion after you've had some time to to think about it and see whether you want to make any changes or change it around. Um, actually, I mean, I think our our meetings do move pretty good. I think uh, uh, Bill or whoever's sitting in for him normally does a, a very good job of keeping our our meetings moving along. Uh, but uh, I also I, I can see some some legitimacy in in moving the action items up, the action items up to the front and the public comment up to the front. So uh, I would just ask that the, you know certainly if you have any comments now uh, make them. But to think about it and maybe we uh, we we discuss it some more at the next meeting. That's all. That even sounds like a good idea. I think it's a good idea. The um, I could certainly see moving the public comment, up. Uh, the action items. I don't know. I'd have to think about that one a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But that was uh, their thought, and I don't know if you know people look, watching at home only want to watch the beginning of the meeting, and then some show comes on or something that they want to watch. But you that's mean? what was you know put forth to me, and uh, uh, I said I would uh, bring it forward. You mean the millions watching at home? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else have any comment on that, on the agenda <coughs> order at this time? I like it. If not, we'll bring it up again at the next meeting. Okay, we have one action item. It's in your packet, page 21 to 28. It concerns the safety railings around the maintenance building, the uh, and we've discussed this before. It's, uh, evidently, it's a requirement, right, Joe? Yes. And we've uh, put that out for bids. It was put out in two separate bids, one main and one alternate. And the main bid and the alternate bid had two sections to it. Uh, one was to put railings around all four buildings. The other one, the second Bid, the alternate bid was to just put railings around the necessary areas of the buildings. And each of those bids also included the option of us providing the materials and only bidding out the labor and equipment. And as I understand it, that was rejected from the engineer's level is probably not cost effective or cost efficient Correct. to pursue. Correct. So if anybody has any discussion on that, uh, you've had a chance to look at the difference in cost. The recommendation of the engineer was that uh, we really wouldn't save much money, if any, by buying the materials ourselves and only contracting out the, the labor and equipment. So what I see us dealing with tonight is to decide whether we wish to accept the bid or approve the bid or go forward with the bid for the full enclosure of the guard railing or go with the railings only around the selected areas. Uh, Joe, what, what was the, uh, initially when, when we, when this came up, I, well, I don't recall it being for everything. Is is that? My impression was it had to be for sure where we were working within, and I don't know if I'm wrong, but I thought it was where we're working or walking within six feet of the edge, you needed fall protection. Rains, Austin, um, his interpretation of the regulation was the full perimeter, and that's why it was presented this way. They asked for bids both ways. Well, okay, is this just one building, or is this, this every would be, building? This or? is, for the full perimeter, it would be the control building. Um, the 
pump station for the uh, equalization basin mm -hmm. and portions of, because the RBC building is so big we I think we just wanted just the areas where we, we work in this pretty there's not much yeah. up there um, but I think that was so it wouldn't be the open areas I mean it's only where there'd be equipment <clears> on the roof on the uh, RBC building yeah. the others you're probably the control building over 70% of it would have been encircled anyway, so you're just basically filling in the gaps. Um, the other, you know, the equalization basin building, pump station, <clears throat> there's, it's a, it's a pretty small roof too, and that, you know, the difference between the two wouldn't be huge. All right, so, this, so the uh, 17000 the alternate bid, is just for? The portions where the equipment is. On what? It, on all the buildings. On all the buildings. Yes. And the 31000 is the perimeter Perimeters. of all the buildings. So all except for, I, I don't believe the RBC building is the full perimeter. I believe it's just because it's so big, it was just <clears throat> a portion where and the this, equipment is. This came up with the engineer. This came up in with a, the engineer. In a discussion or a reviewing of the regulations, I the fall protection regulation. We don't have the the regulation here. I don't believe. I didn't no, see it's it. not in our packet. <coughs> <coughs> and he, <coughs> if he's saying we have to have it, he isn't saying we have to have it. I I, I didn't take it that way in my discussion with him. <coughs> Excuse me. But he said what we saw. My interpretation of where you're working within six feet of the edge, he never saw that anywhere. He just saw that if you're working on the roof, there had to be, you know, fall protection all around. Where, where did we come up with this six feet from the edge? I think that came from my United Water Safety guy. I believe that's Boca Code. Okay. Where uh, you have to have fall protection... Be attached in those areas that you have equipment where you'll have people where you're going to be working or walking. I have edge. a couple of, couple of items I want to bring up here. Number one, if he's, it's a fairly substantial difference. Yes. So I would recommend that if you're actually looking at that, you would probably have rains come forward with. I don't think this has to be done today or anything. Have rains come forward with some reasoning behind that other than Joe said? Correct. Secondly, <clears throat> if we do go for the full, <clears throat> it's going to require a budget adjustment. Correct. And that has to then go through the township board for a budget amendment because we've only budgeted 20000 for it. So, <clears throat> I mean, if it's firm that we have to go that way, then this is going to be delayed anyway because we have to do a budget amendment on it. I don't feel it does by Boca Code, and I don't know where he's getting his. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where he's getting his figures from. I don't know uh, because I can't see any reason why he'd want to put a fence around the entire building. I mean, there's nobody going to be around the edges except where right. the equipment is. It looks <clears> like so. it's about twice the amount of equipment or amount of material. Material. So I mean, I don't know how much. It's maybe not quite the. Uh, doubling the size of the project, but from the two bids, it's really close. Yeah. yeah. I would suggest, uh, since we actually haven't had a motion read right into the record yet, that we just table this item until the next meeting and we get clarification. Get clarification, get something. I, I would from. suggest you have reins here. Yeah. No, and, I, and with paper, I, something I mean, to back it up. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, before that, I would like, you know, I'll, I'll talk to talk to them too and try and get this cleared as to what they're where they're coming from on it okay uh, so that'd be my suggestion that we just take no I agree with that not read a motion in any other comment or discussion on this I make a motion we table until the next meeting second who second that Nelson Nelson okay thank you I'm um, in that motion, I think I should say we have to have Charlie or uh, somebody from Rains' office here to explain this. Well, I don't, we well, don't we have, don't we need don't to have that to in have there. That I'll just the contact them. You don't yeah, need to have a motion. It's a motion You're just motioning to table. Okay. 
table it, and Lorena and, and is Joe it, will pursue further since there the was no motion, clarification of the it. requirements. Well, right. we have an action item, and I oh, yeah. well, you know what? There, there, we yeah. have. I mean, we just had a discussion. I don't think we had an official item. No action taken. Yeah. Right. But I'll change it to no action yeah. taken, and we'll just bring it forward to the next right. meeting. Right. And you know, you can make the comment on what we discussed and what we feel we need. Yeah. We're lacking. Well, how often do you go up on a roof, Joe? The control building roof, quite a bit, because, you know, all the HVACs up there. Um, and that's know. what, st I mean, really started this when we were replacing that. Right. All the equipment, we said, well, and our especially where guy that said, is. It made them tie off. Yeah, and especially where that is, that is close to the Actually, edge. to access, <laughs> you're yeah. walking. When yeah. you come out of the <laughs> door, you're right there. Yeah. You've got a little pathway between the penthouse for the elevator and the edge of the roof it's like so yeah and that's that wide what gave rise to this this <coughs> item yeah okay so then we really would just the the alternate bid would just be channeling the railing to get you to where you need to go and where we're performing the work where you're performing the work and if beyond that you're Say you're 10, 12 feet from the edge, there would be nothing on the other side of that equipment? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, that's how it right originally it, went yeah. at this. And then Austin and his reviewing of the regulations came up and <clears throat> said he didn't, he saw where it might need to be everywhere. The whole, the whole building. I the mean, the whole building. Yeah. But then you go back to the construction codes. And it's six feet. You have to be tied off, but to do tie-offs and stuff, I mean, and, and, and limited rail, like my original, we originally the uh -huh. low bid, the cost is probably <laughs> about the same, um, and there's much less hassle with the rails over the tie-offs. <clears throat> oh okay. yeah, yeah, and the rails. I mean, we had no problem with the rails, but right. now <clears throat> we're we're going to start enclosing. Areas. I mean, you know, that one one building is like a like a basketball court up there right. with nothing there. We're not no use putting it around there if we don't have to. So. Right. Right. Uh, all right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. I got one question for Joe. Is the elevator done? Oh, as of today. <laughs> <laughs> Funny wow. you should ask. Funny I, I did. I, I meant to mention that I got here later than I expected to. Elevator state approved it today. Wonderful. We were given the keys. The lock came off. We now have an elevator. My knee has a chance to heal. <laughs> <laughs> now, did we end up changing all the rails, or were we able? All the rails. All of them had to be changed. All of them okay. had to be changed. State inspector said you don't have to do this, but something you may want to look at is to have automatic oilers on those rails. The amount of corrosion on these brand new rails down below. He goes. It's pretty bad already. Really? Yeah. There's no ventilation. It's uh, it's a how shaft. expensive are automatic rollers? Probably not that expensive. I mean, these things would be sitting on top of the rails and probably just allow <clears throat> some sort of lubricant. It Did wouldn't just, be an oil, but it, it, right. I forget what he called it. <clears throat> right. But it was some sort of lubricant that you know would automatically just be <clears throat> ejected out every so often, or maybe just constantly under a pressure kind of thing. What are the rails made out of? Steel. They're steel, not yes. brass or stainless or I thought there was some coating we were There's putting. a coating, but the part where the car <coughs> grips, you can't have the coating. It has to grip the metal. Um, and it can be lubed, these glide rails are what uh -huh. they're called. Are made okay. for that lubricant, you know, will mm -hmm. start and stop the car with that lubricant. And they, there was a lubricant applied, but uh, he said, you know, based on that amount of corrosion in that you Short know, six period. months, yeah. five months time, you know, probably was a, <clears throat> it would be a good idea to look at automatic oilers in the future just to save some maintenance costs, you know. Yeah. Because yeah, some repair. Because I mean, they're, yeah, they're gonna, yeah. we're gonna get charged for that. You know, there's labor involved in 
doing that. So that that's something we'll look at in the future. So, but that was done. Yeah, at three thirty today, it was released. So oh, cool. So what what open projects do we have over there? Any the <coughs> laboratory counter, which, counter, which was approved last which night, so that'll our, get rolling. Mm -hmm. um, How's lights, the lights? Lights. Lights is in pro progress. They had to order shorter hangers because the old style hangers with these lights, because they're different shape. Uh, we short people like me were yep. banging our heads, <laughs> so <laughs> we wow. we had to uh, <clears throat> get a shorter hanger, and those are due in the nineteenth. So all the old lights are out. One has been installed, you know, with a jerry rig <laughs> hanger set up to see what they needed. And then they ordered these new hangers. They'll be on the 19th, and they figure a week max after that. So. Great. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Thank all you. And we have nobody in the audience for public comment, and I have no chairman's report. Commissioners? Les? Uh, John, give us a report on the PRV job. The contractor started the process today, and he's anticipating doing the tie-in either Thursday or Friday. The vault will be delivered tomorrow. The, uh, did they make the two-inch tap today? They did. Off? Yes. Which created a little bit of an issue that I had called you about earlier. At that point, we put the toll plaza out of water. So they're out of water for at least one day. So we supplied them bottled drinking water. Where were they getting their water from? Well, that valve on our side was passing enough to keep it pressurized. Once they put that two-inch tap on there and drained it. <laughs> <laughs> So they'll do the tie-in tomorrow because they forgot about the oversized uh, sand pit cast, so they had no material to make the transition. So the tie-in will be done tomorrow. And hopefully thought, the toll plaza will be back online. Now they're, gonna, they're putting in a new valve tomorrow and the Well, the, the gate valve is there. Well, they already got it They got to tie it in. They didn't have the transition material. Oh, and like you remember, we told them right from the start that it was sand pit cast and be ready. And yeah, they, they, they some of those contractors, it goes in one ear and right out the other. But at least we're started after a few months' delay. And the delay actually was the uh, vault being manufactured. So that's completed and we're ready to go, move forward. And also, to let everybody know, the new dump truck was delivered January 2nd. 2015. It's a beautiful truck. Everything's working well. A couple little issues that we're going to resolve, but other than that, it's fantastic. You the old one back? Uh, they're just um, painting the dump bed that was repaired. And then uh, the airport, to let everybody know, the airport maintenance is interested in purchasing that from us. Good. Give them a good deal. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you guys want to sell it for, <laughs> or whatever you think is worth. Jim, any comment? I only want to say that uh, there are four of us here tonight, and I apologize for being a few minutes late, but for the others that are not here, I hope you're enjoying the sun. <laughs> <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> we had lots of sun today. Yeah, but they had they had warm sun. <laughs> Jim, any uh, comment? No, no other comment. I always recall we used to say the people that commuted to Florida are looking like geniuses about this time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no other comment. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion, motion to adjourn. Okay, <laughs> less than then Jim will say. Okay. <laughs> All right. Aye. 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 Okay.